Jamie and today I have a how to take better pictures or how to make your Instagram look a little bit better or if you're looking to up your game and start a theme or just take better pictures. I'm kind of repeating myself. <laughs> and our Instagram is definitely not at the greatest point that I wanted to be but I'm working on it and I've learned some tips on how to take better pictures, how to take selfies easier and some editing apps that, whoa, I just slammed my knee, just stuff like that. So I'm going to show all you guys those types of things and let's just get started. Starting off with inspiration, I normally find my inspiration from We Heart It or Tumblr or really just other Instagrammers. I like to find pictures that are pretty or appealing to the eye and trying to recreate them or just be inspired by them. If you're trying to take a picture of some food or if you're out at breakfast or really any meal and you want to get the perfect picture, try taking it from bird's eye view and arranging your food any way you want. Take multiple pictures and if it comes to desperate measures, stand on a chair. This is the classic tumbler bed and coffee shot with your legs in it on a white comforter. You can use whatever comforter you have, but how I do this is I sit in bed and cross my legs or put them in a position I like and bring in my laptop, other things, and coffee and take the picture from up high and you're good. If you're looking for a different approach for the classic outfit of the day, try taking a picture of your camera above your feet and stick your butt out to get this picture and include your arm and accessory. On to apps. If you are trying to start a white theme and can't seem to get the whitest white you want, you can use Facetune and in Facetune is the whiten tool and basically just whiten your background to your liking and this is how most people get a whiter background. Another app that you might not know about is Snapseed. If you have a picture and don't want to oversaturate your skin but a really saturated background, you can use Snapseed and the selective tool and basically saturate the heck out of your background. This is what Alicia Marie might use to get that colorful background but not orange skin. For a tip of more interesting and different pictures, try playing around with your backgrounds. I like using white backgrounds, brick backgrounds, colorful backgrounds, really anything you can find. Have fun with it. The next tip I have is sticking to square. When you're taking your pictures, try to stay in the square cropping and you can also use the grid on the iPhone to help align up your pictures better. The last tip I have is if you're trying to take the perfect selfie but don't want your arms in it, plug in some earbuds to your phone and hit the upper volume or lower volume to take the picture for you. This way your arms won't be in the picture. That was the how to take better Instagram photos video. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope the tips helped you and you learned something new that you didn't know. And if you guys like this video, give a big thumbs up. Why do people say big? Like, give it a small thumbs up. If you have small thumbs. <laughs> really, whatever you want. And also, subscribe if you want. That just helps you get notified, or you do get notified. I can't speak. When we upload. <laughs> and also, it's really appreciative of us. Okay, I can't speak. We really appreciate when you guys subscribe to us and it means a lot. So if you like the content you're watching, then go ahead and subscribe. And also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at JMKBeauty. And you can see what our Instagram actually looks like. I'm working on it guys, I'm trying to make it better. Tell me what you think of it, because I'd like to know. And if you have any tips for the Instagram, let me know. And I think that's all I have for today. Bye guys. Don't let me down.